Hello everyone and welcome to another video. We are going to try our best to give you the most important news and novelty regarding crypto. Please follow us, we will be uploading daily. Subscribe to our channel and do not miss out. So, you did download the Pi Network mobile app and now you are wondering, and now what? The reality is that it may appear intimidating at first, but in this video, we are going to talk about when Pi will be listed how much a Pi currency will be valued in dollars and what you can actually do to prepare yourself in anticipation. Cryptocurrency mining is a very complicated computer process that usually entails and involves the use of specialized equipment. For example, Ethereum is mined with very powerful video cards, and Bitcoin is mined with ASIX, which is a much more expensive option. The Pi network creators chose to make their coins more widely available and accessible in such a way that Pi crypto may be mined by anyone with a smartphone. Or even better said, everyone. Even though the Pi network has a wide-reaching and huge user base, the future of the Pi still seems unsettled and uncertain. Now is the right time to talk about cashing out your Pi crypto. Before the end of 2021, the Pi network will be set in motion and launched on the main net. When the Pi network reaches the main net, it will connect and join a lot of other cryptocurrencies in the market. That is where they will be assigned an exchange value against fiat currencies such as the United States dollar or the euro. This is more likely to happen by the end of 2021. And even after Pi reaches the cryptocurrency market, we recommend and suggest you hold since it will take another decade for the Pi network to fully grow, mature and also reach 100 million subscribers. And that will probably take around a year. And that is because the increase is exponential. We do think and believe that we will surpass 100 million users within the next year. As stated by the white paper, the value of Pi network currency is determined not just by the number of coins in circulation, but also by request and demand. This is in contrast to other cryptocurrencies, where the value is determined and set on by the lack and shortage of coins. The demand is determined by the Pi Network's ability to sustain its network of third-party apps. So, in preparation and putting together the listing this is what you really need to do. If you want to keep your coins when they hit the market, you must verify that you are a real person. Luckily, you still have a year to make your decision. The recognition and the identification process for the Pi network is very strict and rigid. A government-issued identification card is required. The bureaucratic process to obtain documents varies based on your nationality. On the other side, by restraining and preventing money laundering, Pi network remains a cleaner cryptocurrency. It is understandable why some people are concerned about revealing personal information. If you are the careful and attentive type, our recommendation is to opt out for the time being in mind on your phone. You still have a year to assess the platform's stability. You need to keep in mind that once the platform is live, you will still need to authenticate your identity with a government-issued ID card. And now you are probably thinking about and wondering how I am going to verify to the Pi network that I am actually a real person. For that matter, the Pi Network decided to use Yoti which is an external identification tool. You can use to Yoti app to verify your identity. You may receive a pop-up notification on your app after becoming a member, asking if you wish to verify your identity. This has an entirely random chance of happening. Some people received the two weeks notice after they joined. Sadly, the Yoti is a headache to use. The majority of the users in the United States and many other nations that provide passports and driver's licenses will have no difficulties and problems. We have heard that a lot of members have trouble verifying in different continents. If you have not gotten yet gotten an invitation from Pi Network to authenticate with KYC, you can still get a head start by downloading the app. This actually signifies that the Yoti app has approved and accepted all of your identity. As soon as you receive the Pi Network invitation, the only thing you need to do is to submit to the Pi Network. What can we expect from this? What is going to be the expected value? At this very moment, the official value is still zero and only a small number of people can trade. And for that reason, we still have to wait. Nonetheless, a big rumor has been speculated about the Pi Network getting listed by August, 
which is just a month and a half away. Because it is still an unlisted coin, it cannot be valued yet. But some people trade using TH. ePi Lifestyle app for about $100 per one pi in exchange which is called SJS in Singapore Trades Pi Futures. The price at the moment is circa $10 per one pi. But the official value is still zero. That can change very soon. And that is why we still have to wait for a little more. The identity and the specification of the core team is very transparent. Many other coins often do not know who the developer is or even where the company is located at. What needs to be remembered is that at the end of the day, when it comes to cryptocurrencies, there are no guarantees. And their proposal is not offering that it is just a matter of inviting you on board. They also want to see what is going to happen when you consider that all you have to do is download an app, then open it once a day. I almost seems unreal and mind-blowing but it's something that can actually happen. It seems like a very good deal, and it sounds promising, especially when you keep in mind and consider what this may become. While Pi is still in its beginnings and infancy, it is developing at a rate that cannot be ignored. It is free and it is very simple to start earning it. So, because of that, we are determined, and we decided to give it a try. You stand to lose virtually very little, except some wasted time. And of course, it may not amount to much, but if it meets its objectives, it will be rather impressive and majestic. And in that case, getting there early could pay out very handsomely. Last year in December, 2020, the Pi developers launched and presented a new Pi brainstorming app to allow users to propose app ideas, join projects and engage other users. Early adopters are accumulating Pi crypto in anticipation and expectation that the price will go up sharply after Phase 3 goes live. In spite of the fact that the coin's mining rate has been reduced by having users can increase their mining rate by connecting, joining and linking with some other active miners, new users can only join the Pi network by one condition only. Only if they have a referral code from another user. The project's developers claim that the security of the Pi network is enhanced by personal networks encouraging users to bring in friends and family which is prompting skepticism that it is a multi-level marketing or the well-known pyramid scheme. Nonetheless, it is very worth noting that users can only earn coins from their own direct networks and not from their connections networks as with an MLM scheme. And how is that so much different from the other cryptocurrencies in the world? Pi is a very new cryptocurrency, and it is foreign by common people, and how can you mine or earn using only your phone? As stated, and maintained by the team behind this cryptocurrency, it appears to be very straightforward. Among the unlisted coins, the technology development level is the highest. It has an enormous amount of 19 million users. For a countless of users, it means the coin's ecosystem is very strong. In addition to that, Users are growing at an average rate of about 300,000 per week. A quick and useful reminder. If investing in any cryptocurrency seems like an interesting and appealing idea to you, the most uncomplicated and easiest, and safest at the same time, way to buy any cryptocurrency regardless of any country you reside in is to buy from the Binance platform. There are a countless of places where you can buy cryptocurrencies, but these kinds of platforms are the safest and the cheapest as far as cryptocurrency is concerned. Do not forget to click the red subscribe button down below and click the notification bell. That way you will get to know wherever we post similar videos regarding this topic. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. We wish you a good luck. We are not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. You should not buy, sell, trade, or invest in any asset based on what we say in these videos. You should know that investing carries extreme risks. You could lose your entire investment. This is not a trading advice, and we are in no way liable for any losses incurred.